I'm so excited. Hi, you guys. Okay, you guys see the title. You guys see the title. I'm so excited. I didn't realize I'd be this excited. Is this the destiny holder or recipe holder? I don't know what they call you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny. If you haven't been here before, I would really, really, really appreciate if you subscribed. It doesn't take much. You just push a button. Come on, do it now. Today, I am doing a full face of House Labs. It is Lady Gaga's makeup brand available in Sephora. I am ecstatic and I cannot express that enough. So the entire House Labs line is completely clean. It's fragrance free, it's vegan, and it's cruelty free. That's music to my ears. I wanna start off with the hybrid lip oil just to get my lips nice, juicy, and moisturized when we start the makeup process. The House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Oil is a clean tinted lip oil. I did grab it in clear. It has vegan collagen in it. It has prickly pear oil and plant squalene. That all sounds extremely hydrating and beneficial. It has a very subtle, really nice smell. Mmm. Wow. Wow. I'm not even lying here. That is the best lip oil I have tried yet. This is less sticky than the Dior and way more moisturizing than Fenty's. This is, it's not sticky at all. Ignore this. I got clocked in the face um, the last show I did last Saturday. <laughs> gonna start with triclone skin tech foundation this foundation is supposed to be medium coverage and it has 20 plus skincare ingredients in it but it's long lasting and delivers results and coverage we want to see i haven't heard of that before it has fermented arnica which i believe is like the number one ingredient in all of her products and arnica is supposed to visibly reduce redness and irritation arnica is great it's something you can use on your body too as a dancer i've definitely used arnica it helps with bruising it helps with a lot so to hear that it's being used in skincare for someone who has super sensitive dry skin do you understand <laughs> i got her anyways i was saying do you understand my excitement now and I also am gonna pair it with her foundation brush. It comes with a pump, which we love. We love a pump, so let's do some pumping. Also, does anyone have a green dot? I feel like I always ask this, but I've had this green dot on my skin my entire life, and it's so vibrant, and it's just there. Anyways. Ooh, doesn't smell like any, oh, not, not the curls. Hmm. The brush isn't as dense as I usually like for my foundations, but I guess that's nice. So I'm not putting as much pressure on my skin because I'd be bopping the brush, y'all. I'd be, I'd be boxing my cheek. Okay, first layer covered really nicely, effortlessly. That literally took five seconds to blend out. It's cute, work. This is the first layer. My skin, it looks gorgeous. So right off the bat, this gives a very, very skin-like natural finish. It's the perfect amount of glow and dew. It does not feel drying. It actually feels like there's nothing on my face right now. So let's go ahead with the second layer. I'm gonna cover that guy up. Also, this fits so nicely under your eye, the shape of this brush. It's so nice. This second layer is a oh. vibe. It's so gorgeous. I don't feel cakey at all i still feel like there's actually literally nothing on my skin both sides of my face feel the exact same this is extremely lightweight i don't feel it which is fantastic jeez it looks so good i want to see the coverage on my battle scar here you know what's crazy you know what i just thought of the arnica in this foundation is kind of sort of gonna help it heal while it's on it's not Okay, not bad. It also gives you a chance to see what it would look like on top of like a dry patch, scar, boo-boo, whatever. I did see and learn that you can really build up this foundation, meaning if you want to apply it with your fingers, it could be a really nice skin tint. And if you want to apply it with a brush, you can build up the coverage. Y'all know I like coverage, so we're gonna be using the foundation brush for the other side as well. But I just think that's amazing and I totally see how that works. Even with the foundation brush and 
one layer. It was kind of a nice medium coverage skin tint. It doesn't even feel like a skin tint though because like Ilia, even Tower 28, my beloved, um, and all the other skin tints out there, you still feel it on your face. I don't feel this brush literally gets in all the creases. I don't know how, but it's the perfect density and shape. The way that it's just fitting in all the creases around my nose and my eye is absolutely amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Honestly, since it fits so nicely under my eye, I'm kind of wondering if I could use it as a concealer because I think some's already a little there just from blending out on my face and my under eyes kind of look really great. I love an all-in-one brush. Oh my god. Great concealer brush as well. Are you kidding me? That's kind of really good. Obviously, if you're using the same exact color as your skin tone, it's not going to do a dramatic brightening effect, but I'm obsessed and I could literally wear this on its own. This could be my makeup for today. I could literally brush my eyebrows out and be on my way and be confident about it. Now that I have it on my skin, I don't feel like my skin cannot breathe. I feel like I put moisturizer on. Also, not it barely creasing. Barely creasing? What? It's time to set. Let's move on to the bio blurring talc free loose setting powder. I'm s bright as hell. I am so glad that the first powder she put out is talc free. The first foundation, first everything, everything, her entire line, clean and talc free. If you guys haven't watched the documentary, I can't remember the name right now, I'll put it right here. It's on HBO, I believe. You need to watch it. And I'm so happy that a celebrity with a huge platform started from the get go with extremely clean talc free makeup like this is huge so this would be my first talc free powder that i will be putting on my face i have a feeling it's about to change my life this powder of course has the fermented arnica it's got the squalene and then it also has tourmaline which is supposed to help with cell turnover wrong not cell turnover cellular energy i mean i could be right but and then it is finely milled and has a gel powder technology to it i don't know what that means but gaga says it's blurring and seems seamlessly melts into your skin so I'm gonna take that. I love that it comes with this net because loose powder gets so messy. It is the most annoying thing ever but loose powder is the best way to set your face. I'm gonna tap, bounce. A little bit of powder as usual is coming out but there's a good amount of powder on the brush and the packaging itself is pretty clean. I love that. How's the eyes looking? Still barely creased. So crazy. I also don't feel like I have powder on, just like I don't feel like I have foundation on. Oh my god, it's so light. You cannot, I can't feel it. Okay, moving to a smaller brush for my eyes. That's so nice. And it's, it's literally invisible. The most lightweight powder I've ever put on my face ever. There's definitely a difference. This side has totally been set. It looks so natural. It doesn't look super matte. It looks like a soft radiance. Guys, I do not feel it on my skin. I am not exaggerating. I too am very flabbergasted. I don't feel dry. I don't even know how to explain it because there's nothing bad to say. It didn't change the color of my foundation. This is so cool. You guys, the skin looks so good. It didn't cling to any dry patches. It is a powder. I Now that I have it on my full face, I can kind of feel like there's something on my face, but it's not drastic and it's not something that would make me not want to powder my face as I have felt with every single powder out there except the Givenchy one. Looks great. My skin doesn't feel like it got lighter, which is amazing for melanin. Okay guys, the brows and cheekbones have entered the chat. I did a very minimal amount of contour, but you can tell we are going to touch the beautiful Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. This bronzer also has the gel powder formula. It has the fermented arnica but in oil. It's talc free and has the squalane. This bronze is supposed to be skip proof which is really nice to hear. <gasps> but I'm just gonna do it as people do right? They do a three. I've literally never done normal bronzer before. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the powder brush I was using and blend it out. Let's look at the blender. Ooh. The blendability of it is superb. This side. I feel like I could use this as like, like a blush in a way. I think I might do that now. And this is going to be weird, but I'm going to do it with my finger just to add a little bit more concentration right here. And have you ever heard of a powder blending out nicely with your freaking finger? Me neither. Wow. 
Cool. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yes. Next, I'm going in with highlight. Now, her highlighters are Bio Radiant and have that same gel powder technology. Of course, has the fermented Arnica oil and it's talc-free, but it also has silver vine extract. Never heard of that. And it's supposed to brighten your skin to promote a smooth complexion. I love that every single product is working overtime for your skin when you wear it. Each highlighter has multi-dimensional pearls that deliver a soft focus glow. I picked up the shade Raw Amber. It's so pretty. You can see the bio radiance. It's got the gold. It's got some pink in there. <gasps> oh, I picked a perfect shade. That looks so good on my skin. Again, even this highlighter doesn't feel like I'm putting anything on my face. The only reason I know I'm putting something on my face is because I can see it. If I was doing someone else's makeup with these products, they'd be like, are you putting anything on me? Okay, nose. This is so pretty. This is so striking. Okay, it's time for the eyes. The literal only thing I'll be doing for my eyes is probably adding possibly some liner or different type of shadow with this, if it needs it. This is going to be her high power eye, cheek, and lip pigment paint. So you can use this on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips, which is so dope. I picked up Copper Shimmer. It's so pretty, so gorgeous. Along with the squalene, these pigments have hyaluronic acid, which hydrates and is such a key ingredient if you have dry skin. I have dry eyelids, so that is great to hear. It also has maracuja extract, which is also going to nourish, nourish? It's also going to nourish and calm your skin. We do have a tiny bit of creasing, but not more. And probably actually still even less than some concealers would do. Let's do the right eye for now. I'm not even going to put on a base or a shadow under it so that we can see the true pigment. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this is freshly put on. This has dried down a little bit. So there's a little bit of a difference. Shimmer does come through and sets. This is kind of looking more foily when it's more fresh. You could definitely use these as amazing liners. I'm going to grab the highlight shade and put it in my inner corner. Brow bone. I feel like you could put on so much of this highlight and it will never look like chunky glittery. Okay, guys, I'm back. The eyes are done. I got two of her lip lacquer shades. These are the Atomic Shape Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Now, what's cool is they're long wearing, waterproof, and they have a shiny finish. Urban Decay just came out with something like that and you shake it, but it's so sticky. These are not sticky at all. It feels like you're spreading hyaluronic acid on your lips. It feels so thin and they contain a marine algae extract, which is supposed to help smooth and nourish your lips to help the natural lip volume. So I picked up the shade Rose Shine and then I picked up the shade Ruby Shine. I don't know which one to wear today. It is the thinnest formula ever. So this is Warm Shine Ruby Shine. Wow. What if I do a gradient? I want to use them both. I'm going to do Ruby Shine, the red one, on the outside of my lips and the pink one on the inside. Oh, oh, oh. You guys, I forgot to shake them. Anyways, the directions do say to keep your lips separated and allow the product to dry for 10 to 15 seconds without blotting or rubbing to allow a shine shield to form. So I accidentally just rubbed. So I'm going to do another layer and stop talking. Okay, so I tried the gradient. I know that it said not to mess with it, but in order to do gradient, you do kinda have to blend them together and the shades are so opaque. There was no blending unless I physically did it. I think it looks gorgeous, but up close, it does look kind of interesting. It's not sticky at all. It's not budging. I feel incredibly moisturized. I didn't even put chapstick on before I did this. It actually kind of feels like I have the oil on. Okay, let's do a test. <gasps> Nothing! What? Oh my goodness. Here's the tea. The shades are so pigmented that the pink fully covered up the red. There is no lip liner needed with these liquid lips. None. Wow. Wow, I just can't believe how pigmented it is. Like, the it, it covered the red. Nothing covers the red. The look is done.
the look is done i feel so cute my lips feel so plump they feel like pillowy yeah and then they feel so moisturized so this is fantastic she did such a freaking amazing job i can't even lie like every single thing i've tried in this video has been a thousand out of ten that is my rate you know when you buy stuff and you don't really want to like it so you can return it i can't return any of this yeah i think i will check in with you guys later just to see how it worked after having it on all day it's currently 1 20 p.m so this is it and like different lighting more natural um just above my makeup vanity lighting this is it in bathroom warm lighting this is it in brighter natural light this foundation shade is so perfect this lip lacquer is extremely shiny and everything just looks so flawless lastly this is it in direct sunlight wow 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 the way that this highlight and bronzer is gleaming i don't see any casts from the foundation lips look flawless feel flawless and yeah it actually is quite literally 10 hours later it's like 11 p.m so the face actually looks great i was sweating the last few hours of my shift just now and it still looks amazing um this lip i never ever touched it up it really did the thing and i have to say even after that long i still don't feel like there's makeup i don't feel like there's an inch of makeup on my face except my lips i can feel them but my lips have been moisturized all day and I've never felt that from a lip before. I've never not had to reapply, especially after a Chipotle bowl. So this is literally the only foundation I would ever need in my collection because there's nothing toxic in here. More than half of it is skincare ingredients. And if it performs really well, stays on all day and still looks flawless, can be a skin tint and full coverage. This is literally all you need. Holy crap, you guys. I am in love with House Labs. Please like this video. Comment down below what you might be going to Sephora for today because if it's not something from house labs you're gonna miss out make sure you are following me on my socials make sure you are following my podcast i am a huge mental health person so if you want to learn more about that or get inside of other people's heads especially in the la industry definitely listen to my podcast available everywhere everything is linked down below i love you guys so much have an amazing day night wherever you are in the world bye